so uh, my name is Patrick Peters, and uh, this is my Fire Hall 1. Um, started building in 2009 when my daughter was old enough to not eat the bricks anymore uh, with the engine. And then a friend of mine who's a firefighter kind of dared me to build the ladder truck. And uh, then we built the third truck, and then, of course, it needs somewhere to live. So we built the fire hall. And uh, one trip to Disneyland, I was inspired to build their chemical wagon. So it sits over there as the antique piece. And uh, yeah, so it's been about 10 years in the making. Interior's complete. We've got uh, kitchen and offices downstairs, bunk rooms, uh, bathrooms and showers and stuff on the second floor. And then like a day room area with uh, pool table, uh, couches, TV and that kind of stuff on the, on the top floor, barbecue area there. Um, all, the, uh, all the doors roll up and down. The, uh, the trucks have exhaust hoses that attach to the trucks and then follow them out of the bays as they go, just like in a working firehouse. And, uh, yeah. Is this based on any real firehouse? It's not based on any real firehouse. It's all my own design. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a really impressive design. So you said you spent almost like 10 years on this project then. It's been about 10 years in the making. Yeah, we actually, I started building the trucks. And my wife got tired of the Lego being strewn about the living room floor, so we had to buy our bigger house so I could have a, a Lego room to build this in. <laughs> you know, I got to have your priorities straight there. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Thankfully, she's been pretty patient with it. So take us through the design of the firehouse here a little bit with the, the roof design and then how you got kind of the, the big walls in the main building section. Um, it's all just kind of the corners are framed up with 2x4 with, uh, bricks, and then you can see the posts kind of going along. Um, there's I-beams across the structure of the bays, so there's, there's clear floor throughout the bays. Um, and then there's I-beams going to the back too to support the mezzanine, which is where the, actually the gym is with, uh, with working workout equipment. And um, then on the other side, it's the same sort of thing, only in a, a smaller kind of scale. Um, there's I-beams going across there to support the, the floors as they go up again. And then it's all just a uh, plate. Uh, kind of doubled up and stuck together with, uh, as you can see, the windows to, to let some light in the inside there. And then how about for the vehicles themselves here? Because these are, are great builds individually as well. So they're just, uh, they're built on old Technic brick frames and then uh, just kind of worked up from there. They have working functions. Um, they all steer, they all have piston engines. Um, each one has different functions depending on what kind of truck it is. The engine has the drop down ladder rack off the side and then out the side of it, it's got the, a slide out tray. Um, the ladder truck has working stabilizers that work off the uh, pump housing on the right hand side. Uh, the ladder raises and lowers, unfortunately you have to manually extend it, but it's got the, the actuators there to, to raise and lower the stick. And then the tender has got the, the working doors over the hose bed. Um, all the trucks have, our, uh, have uh, headsets hanging from the, the ceilings so when the guys can talk to themselves or talk it amongst themselves as they're on their way to calls. Um, the uh, air packs are built in the seats. And uh, yeah, radios, all up, flashlights, all that kind of stuff is all built in the cabs for them. That's really sweet. So you got all the little details in there. I tried to, yeah. Um, been a few consultations at the local fire halls and <laughs> some some friends to help me out and, and whatnot so we tried expert advice <laughs> exactly tried to get it as close as i could so uh, what's the transport for this build like when you bring it to a show like brick can uh so the front the like the apron and the the landscaping on the front comes off that's plates the apparatus base is is two sections and the mezzanine comes off and then the, the quarters is another section and it splits in three and then I have a tray that slides in the back of my pickup truck that I built and it all kind of goes in there and then a couple totes with roof panels and, and the trucks and hopefully we don't hit bumpy roads. <laughs> Hope it survives on the way to the show. That's exactly <laughs> right. You don't realize how bad the roads are until you got this in the back of the truck, right? Oh yeah, you never drive more carefully than when you have Lego in the vehicle. That's exactly right. <laughs> Looking in the mirror and everything. <laughs> I like the technique you did in uh, a couple different sections here with the kind of the arches above the doors and windows. Uh, talk about how you got those bricks to stay together for that. I got bloody lucky. <laughs> um, there, there's a brick that mounts back into the wall here, 
and then the keystone there and then I just kind of took a, a hinge piece and just kind of worked back from there and it's thankfully it stays it's it's really solid now when you, as you're building it there's sometimes there's some curse words that come out it can be frustrating I'm sure absolutely yeah everybody's got those days when they're building Lego <laughs> yeah well it's a, it's a really fantastic build it's very large do you plan to expand any more on this kind of firehouse theme um, I have to the trucks are kind of sentimental so I'll probably keep those together but after this this fall I'm thinking about taking the, the structure down and building my hometown fire hall so um, it's gonna be hopefully I my wife's understanding and I can do that and it, it'll be a completely different build it won't look this this is kind of my own thing so it won't look kind of as, as cool but it's it'll be more utilitarian but again it's the hometown thing so that's what we'll do sure well thank you so much for taking us through the layout here appreciate it thanks very much